Well, we're back uh, right here in the studio, and we have with us right now our first guest this evening. We have with us uh, Dr. Faisal Hamid al Rifai, who is the Chief Operating Officer at Dasman Diabetes Institute. Good evening, Dr. Faisal. Good evening, Tarek. How are you? I'm fine, thank Thanks. you. Uh, thank you for taking some time to be with us this evening right here on Hela Kuwait. Thank you for hosting me. Uh, it's Doctor, it's our pleasure to have you. Uh, Dr. Faisal, can you please tell our audience a little bit about the uh, Food Switch application, which was recently launched by Desman Diabetes Institute. What is this application and what is it all about, please? Right. So, uh, in a nutshell, the idea of the application is that the importance of the contents of food is vital when people make healthy food choices. And particularly for patients with diabetes, it's important to know what are the nutritional content and values of the food that they eat. And so the application makes it easier for food consumers to scan the barcode of the food item uh, and, then, and thereby it actually shows them uh, what the nutritional values and contents are and it gives them um, a, a kind of a rating of whether the uh, food is suitable and healthy and if not it gives them alternative options which are available in the co-op so that they can choose and select from them a few weeks ago uh, dr faisal i think you had the launch at one of the local co-ops uh, can you tell us how did that go and i believe there's some uh, cooperation with some different entities on this application yes so actually the the the, the launch of the application comes with a, a, a range of collaborations, okay. and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's useful to mention how it all started, maybe. Yeah, so, give us a background uh, on it. Absolutely, absolutely, Tarek. So the Desman Diabetes Institute collaborated with the University of Canberra in Australia about three years ago uh, in the field of diabetes, and through our increasing uh, strong ties with Australia, we came to meet the George Institute, who actually are the... Um, uh, founders and the creators of the Food Switch application. Um, and through our relationship with the George, uh, it was decided that this application would be very useful for diabetes patients and for food consumers in general. And so we, we collaborated with the George Institute to Arabize, and it's the first time this application has been Arabized and used in the Arab world, and it started here in Kuwait. That's amazing. And, and that's fantastic, really. And in order to uh, make sure that it had a local context, uh, we reached out to the Public Authority for Food and Nutrition to be our local partners as well. Uh, and, of course, uh, we used uh, the Delia Co-op Society as a, an initial uh, location, although the intention is to uh, reach out to all the co-ops. To have it all through the country, right? So all throughout the country, exactly. Uh, we just started with Adelia, but it's actually the, the application is uh, uh, downloadable uh, Kuwait-wide. Uh, and uh, I, I don't want to forget the help of His Excellency, the Ambassador of Australia to Kuwait, Jonathan Gilbert, in also helping us uh, during that launch at Adelia Co-op to spread the word. Well, I have to say the application is uh, very user-friendly, and uh, I did download it recently. Uh, Tell our audience a little bit about uh, this. Uh, walk us through the steps of using this application, Dr. Faisal, and uh, Absolutely, how simple Tarek. it is and beneficial for everyone. Absolutely, Tarek. I'm really glad you downloaded it. It's really important. I think the more, the more people yes. use it, the better. Uh, so the, the application, like you said, is really very simple. Once you download it, uh, all you got to do is really use your uh, camera on the phone. You scan the barcode of an item that you're interested in purchasing. And what it does is it reads all the nutritional contents and values, and it does one of two things. You can use one of two systems, e either the traffic light system, which tells you uh, if the uh, food and its contents are healthy, it gives you a green light, so that's a go. Uh, if it's uh, uh, not, you know, questionable, so-and-so, it gives you a yellow or amber uh, light. And then uh, if it's a no-go, then it, it gives you a red light. Uh, so that's one system. The other system is a scale of one to five stars. So it's the star rating. Five stars is very healthy. One is unhealthy. In addition to giving either the color or the star rating, the application actually gives you alternatives if the uh, food that you're interested in um, uh, looks like it's not suitable for you. 
And and I and if I may, I'll add something to yes, not please. suitable for you because uh, there are particular filters as part of the food switch application uh, which are uh, uh, suitable to different users. So if you're a diabetic patient uh, or a person with diabetes, you could have the diabetes filter. If you're a person that re it requires reduced salt intake, you have a salt filter. You could have a sugar filter. And so uh, based on your requirements, uh, what is considered a healthy food might be different. So a lot of benefits, uh, obviously, to using uh, this application, Dr. Faisal. A absolutely, Tariq. There's no doubt about it. And really, our intention is to encourage people to use it because I think you realize reading food labels is pretty tough. And it's not an easy job. Yeah, so the, the print is always so small and so forth. Exactly. And Exactly, I totally agree. And when, what the application does really is it reads the label for you. Yes. And it makes it much easier and translates it, translates it to something that uh, you can make use of. Well, uh, Dr. Faisal, DDI is really active in so many ways uh, combating diabetes and the chronic conditions that go along with it. Uh, we read a lot about DDI in the local newspapers and frequently we see a lot of their activities on the YouTube channel. Uh, so that's really great that you're trying to help uh, keep the uh, public aware of the latest. Absolutely, Tarek. I mean, it, it's vital that in order to face the high levels of diabetes in Kuwait, uh, to spread the word and spread the awareness. And I mean, you know, in, in this time and age, uh, social media, being out there in the digital world, and as well in the conventional uh, uh, modes of media is, is vital and uh, we, we try our best and the team at DDI uh, tries its best and hardest to spread ourselves all over uh, the media. Well this application Food Switch is amazing, uh, it really is uh, so beneficial for a lot of people uh, right here in the state of Kuwait and for that matter you said even uh, worldwide so tell us at the end of our interview any final comments that you may have about the Food Switch application Dr. Faisal? So I think the one comment that I want to make is uh, we really want to encourage everyone to download the application and use it. It's free. The more people use the application, uh, the better we can actually deliver good data that's customized for Kuwait particularly. Uh, it's a free application. Try it out. Use it. Spread the word. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Faisal, for joining us this evening right here on Hella Kuwait. We appreciate your valuable insight and time with us this evening. Thank you so much, Tarek. My pleasure. Thanks Th a lot. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening.